I am Jasmine Masters and I have something to say. This is for like the new queens and the kings, just, you know, everyone who's doing drag, just getting into getting, you know, they're starting drag and just the newcomers. Um, whenever I'm in your city, I am going to do a number. I've been going through like my music to try to find um, music where I can at least have maybe three, four, five of you girls on stage with me at a time. And we just do it some type of little group number just to have some fun and, you know, give you guys that little spotlight or, you know, whatever I could do. And yes, I will be paying you girls. I will not be letting y'all do this stuff for free. You will get some kind of token of my love. And I will hope that it's enough to just show your appreciation to, you know, being on stage with me and, you know, me trying to help you get your moment or whatever the case may be. Or for your time. Um, that's something that I always wanted to do um, because I would never forget. Well, I never forget none of the times, but the very first time I ever got on stage with Patti LaBelle, it was a feeling that I can't describe to anyone. It's just something that everyone has to go through. But I, the feeling that I got from her inviting me on stage with her was like, it was just, I don't, I just, I don't know what to say, but that feeling I want to give to other people. So now that I have the opportunity to do that, gives people the feeling that I received when I got on stage with my idol. Um, but not saying I'm everybody idol, but you know, just whatever the case may be, I want to give that back. So now that I can, that's what I want to do. Um, I just always felt that whatever happiness somebody gave me or that I felt, I always want to share with others. And I think that's why I am the way I am. You know, just being just a cool person and I'd rather have fun and get along with everybody instead of, you know, arguing and going back and forth with people. But, you know, sometimes people put you there, but I'm I'm more of a happy type of person. So I just want to know, I mean, I'm just saying when I come to your city, um, I will always look for some girls that come on stage with me, maybe about for three minutes, we'll do a group little number and, you know, I may not, I can't pick everybody, but just know that I'm just picking girls. And even if I'm there, I would just pull you on stage with me doing the song. If you're in the audience and you, you know, are there and I see you, I just pull you on stage and we'll do something like girls just want to have fun or we are family or, you know, single ladies, just something where we could just come together and be one because we got a lot of stuff going on in the world and, now that we are able to get married, because love is love, and it don't matter who we are, we just need to love everybody. That's my part of trying to make it better for our whole community and the world. I'm just trying to do whatever I could do. I was listening to Beyonce's song, I'm Here. Um, and the words in the song, she's just like, you know, I want to leave my footprints, you know, in the, in the sand of time and just let people that I was here. I did something. I made some type of change. And that's what it's really about, especially this time and age and in this world right now. We got, we can't be happy to be in love with someone to get married without somebody knocking us down. So it's just a whole bunch of shit. But I'm just trying to do my part to make the next person happy. So we're, if everybody's starting to be happy and loving everybody, everybody we'll do a better job and, you know, supporting each other and coming in this world and, you know, whatever the case may be. But that's just what I want to do. So, you know, if I see you out there, just know I may pull you up. And if you want to come up, come up. And if you like me, come on up. And, you know, let's have some fun. It's time that we really stick together and really give each other respect and really love our next drag queen and our drag kings. And, you know, we just need to really get it together and wake up. Life is too short to go through the bullshit that we go through. Love you much. And I will be coming back with another video where I'm going to be talking a little more trash. So don't say, well, how did she go from being so holy or, you know, so nice that then she went back to cussing? Because I'll cuss during my regular fucking day anyway. But I just wanted to get this message out there, okay? So I'm coming back in the same look with my Nora.